morning, traders. This is Blake Morrow, and you are listening to the FACE webinar. I want to welcome you all. Uh, let me go ahead and grab everything over here, and uh, I'm going to actually take over. We don't have Dale today. Uh, he is out uh, celebrating Easter. Um, this is a very... Um, it was a very, uh, t today for, for Dale, uh, I, I know he's not here and he's not listening in, but this is a very um, uh, sacred day for, for Dale because four years ago today, he was diagnosed with, uh, with cancer and um, he has fought cancer and won. And, uh, and so this is like a special day for him. So he is not, uh, he's not with us today. He's going to, he's, he's taken today off. And I, I said, you know, it's uh, it's it's Good Friday. It's before the long Easter weekend. Uh, in, enjoy it. And we all thought it would be a good idea that he uh, he he had the day off. But we have a special um, guest today, which I'm going to talk about here in a few moments. Uh, before I do, I I, I just want to thank you all for being here. And um, I, I know a lot of people aren't going to be here live today. I I didn't expect it because it is a it is a holiday today. But um, I wanted to bring in a special guest, and for those of you guys that are around and you're still in front of your computers and, and kind of watching uh, paint dry or, or grass grow uh, in, in the FX market, um, I, I'm bringing you a special treat. Um, I'm bringing in a good friend of mine who is a longtime um, trading buddy of my myself, and um, his name's Amir. But, uh, but but before we go into that, I just want to quickly just show you that the FX market is still trading. The the um, the dollar is you know giving back some of its recent gains. You can see the dollar index is dropping just a little bit. You know it's pulling back after hitting this uh, you know trend line channel resistance or uh, excuse me triangle resistance after the 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 squeeze that we saw two days ago uh, for for the month end rebalancing in the dollar. The dollar has pushed up and is pulling back a little bit, and you know the euro is getting a little bit of relief. The the Aussie is as well, and you can see the Aussie is kind of breaking higher. It's the currency that I'm long right now, and um, and but but everything else is really quiet, and it's it's expected to be really quiet until uh, Sunday night, Monday morning. So, with that being said, let's talk about and, and let me let me pull up something. I I got to go over to my other screen here give me uh, give me a second okay I'm gonna bring up here in a moment uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring up a couple of uh, web pages really quick but I, I have a guest a special guest today that is joining us and and I'm gonna bring you a picture of him over here uh, this is relatively current it's um, um, this picture of Amir and his wife April uh, is, you know, I would say it's probably about two years old. And um, let me tell you a little bit about Amir, okay? And I and I and I briefly explained to you Amir yesterday, if you were listening in. But for those of you that weren't and joining in, you you want to join in today? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna start from the beginning. So back in the day, I I I. I uh, um, you know, going way back, um, as I joined the Wise Trade Group uh, and we sold our, you know, execution platform that we built in Dallas, Texas, to this company called Wise Trade. I, I joined the joined joined their their ranks about 15 years ago, and one of you know one of my jobs there um, before I became the chief currency strategist for them and what it eventually become and be trading and ally financial um i i used to uh, travel around the world and and teach people how to trade the markets like uh, you know once a week i'd i'd fly out and i fly out to different cities and we didn't have this technology that we have today where i could just you know sit in an office or or at home and 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 teach you guys uh via the internet you know, I used to actually have to go to a hotel and um, put up a projection screen and my laptop and pull up the trading accounts and the charts and, you know, teach you guys how to how to trade the markets. Well, um, you know, every once in a while I'd head out to uh, Baltimore, Maryland or, you know, or, or, or in the Northeast in general. And I met this gentleman. His name's Amir. 
uh, he was a, uh, a customer of ours or a client of ours. And um, he, uh, we, we, we initially hit it off. He came up and talked to me afterwards and uh, we talked quite a bit. And then, you know, every time I'd come back to the Northeast um, in his uh, general, you know, couple hour vicinity, he'd stop by um, my event and, you know, and, and be very interactive. And it was, it was super cool. Um, and then, you know, we had conventions in Dallas and he brought his, his wife, April, who you see there, uh, he brought her, you know, maybe 10 years ago, eight years ago to a big, big, uh, it was probably about eight years ago, maybe almost 10 years ago. Shoot. This has been a long time. I mean, this is, you're, you're talking 12 years ago and, and on. And it, throughout this whole time, we had a chat room that, you know, we'd all, uh, uh, during the week, we'd, we'd all, you know, chat about, you know, uh, the markets, kind of what we have here today with our uh, Forex Analytics chat room. You guys can, you know, say hello. There's there's only 60 of us in here right now because it is a holiday. And you can see actually Amir is right there. And uh, hey guys, you guys are on Jumbotron. Uh, this is where I spend uh, my day when I'm not on here. Uh, I, I'm, I'm here um, talking. Uh, with all of our traders in our community. And Amir has been a fixture in our community since we launched this one with Forex Analytics, but um, also been a fixture in um, our wise trade community, you know, 10 years ago. And I've been trading with him ever since. Uh, so, um, so about, I want to say it was about um, it was about uh, we'll, we'll we'll see the dates here in a minute, but it, it, I would say about eight or nine years ago, uh, and, and Amir, just so you guys know, he was what was one of those guys. He was in the community, very interactive, always um, always uh, uh, you know willing to help out another trader and say, hey, you know what are you doing wrong, and um, you know let me help, and you know this is how I do things, and 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 you know hopefully that suggestion will help you out. Always always very helpful. And he had uh, he had sold, and he could correct me if I'm wrong. He sold his uh, businesses. Uh, I believe he had a couple of car dealerships at that point in time uh, to trade the FX market um, uh, solely. And one day he was, wasn't there, and uh, and 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 then one day became two, and two became four, and you know, a, a, like a week or two gone by, and I sent him an email or I text him or something. And, and I said, Hey, Amir, you know, where, where you been? Um, and he goes, Blake, you're not going to believe what happened to me. Um, you're not going to believe what happened to me. And he told me this story. And, and, and at the time I was like, I was like, e yeah, sure. And he goes, okay. I, I was, he goes, I was, I was at home. My wife had traveled to uh, to, to New York uh, to visit her family, and she took uh, his daughter Isabel, Isabella. And this is Isabella, by the way. This is his daughter. Um, I'll come back to that. Uh, his daughter Isabella. He, they, and then she was like ten or eleven at the time. Took her to the Northeast. He was he was out playing poker with his guy friends and, um, you know, having a guy's night out while his wife and uh, daughter are out. And he lives in this, uh, you know, Baltimore or Maryland, um, nice community. Um, uh, you know, it's a nice, you know, white picket fence type of, uh, suburbia, suburban type of community. And he comes home and, um, he, uh, uh, walks in the door is like around midnight or something. And, he was assaulted. He was his home was being robbed by two individuals. Um, so these two individuals that were robbing his home when he came in at like midnight, um, uh, after the confrontation, stabbed him multiple times and left him for dead. Uh, he uh, comes to several hours later. Um, he comes to several hours later and, 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 uh, calls, calls, um, oh, here, uh, let me get rid of you guys. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I don't want to keep you guys up here. I'm just going to get rid of you and move you over. Um, 
and he, uh, he he calls he calls him you know the nine nine one one and um, he gets taken to the hospital and uh, treated and and nearly bled out and died, and he's telling me this like a week later and I'm like oh, come on. I was like wow that's some story, uh, so um, interesting enough is um, uh, um, here's here's a story. Uh, Middletown man in critical condition after being stabbed. This is in 2011, so this is nine years ago. Okay, Amir Dula Shahi, at the time 45 years old of Middletown, is in critical condition after being stabbed at his home in Frederick News Post reports. Dula Shahi was taken to a trauma center in Baltimore after a call was made to police. Blah blah. I can read all this to you, and I'm like, holy crap, that really happened, <laughs> and um. You know, it was about a month later, and he's popping back in our chat room. He's like, "You guys aren't going to believe what happened to me," um, and uh, I, I, uh, I was like, "I was like, oh my god!" You know, um, you know, glad you're back with us. Uh, he's like, "I'm, you know, I'm, ha you know, I'm having a difficult time with the recovery," um, uh, and he, uh, you know, this this went on for months. And you know, we, we every time we'd see him, we'd be like, "Hey, Amir, how, how's the recovery going? Oh my God, are you okay?" And um, then we, then he drops off the face of the the earth again, and um, and <laughs> I, I end up getting a text or an email from his wife, uh, uh, April, because. Uh, she sent me an email. She said Amir had been shot, and uh, and I I was like, what are you, what are you talking about? Um, apparently, Amir was going in for his. Uh, he he had had an infection in his stomach from the stab wounds like several months prior, and he was going into the hospital, and he was in the parking garage of the hospital in Baltimore, Maryland. And he was held at gunpoint, and somebody was trying to rob him. And he was like, I "I'm just, I'm, I'm." He was going to give a sample um, before his surgery because he was having all these complications. And the individual that held him at gunpoint wanted to take his, you know, w wanted to rob him. And he said, "Here, take my car, take take my wallet, take everything. I j I just need to go into the hospital." And this this assailant kicked him down the stairwell in the parking garage and shot him multiple times in the parking garage and during this attack he had a bullet um wedged in his T8 vertebrae i believe it was and um he was uh, basically um, paralyzed, and uh, it paralyzed like half of his body is paralyzed, and he was really, really hurt. And I couldn't believe uh, what I was hearing. And you can see the story here: officials confirm garage shooting victim uh, linked to prior stabbing. So this is, you know. You see, in 2011, um, this is uh, the story of Amir, who had been stabbed six months prior, then shot, and and uh, I couldn't believe it. And so, Amir, obviously, uh, <laughs> I, I, where the story goes from here is, you know, he 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 stopped trading, and um, he was. Um, uh, in you know a lot of trouble his family was his wife had to stop working to take care of him take him to uh, doctor's appointments uh, multiple times uh, and this is a mirror okay I'm going to show you a, a picture of a mirror um, this is this is actually when he looked much better you can see his wheelchair here this is actually a couple years after the fact this is like you know we're talking going into 2013 2014 um, and his daughter Isabella. Over the next several years, 
we as a trading community, I, I have to say I'm so proud of our trading, commu trading community that we have um, this group here, well, a, a lot of the people here in this group here, um, we came together to, to do what we could to help Amir, April, and Isabella. And um, we, you know, uh, he, his family uh, put together a PayPal account and, you know, uh, we as a group would um, contribute um, some monies here and there to, to help them, you know, uh, with bills and food and, you know, making sure uh, Isabella had a great Christmas, um, you know, uh, during the holidays over the years. And we did this for, 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 for several years. And throughout this whole process, we had uh, brought in a mirror to talk on our webinars every once in a while um, to, uh, to, to just, you know, give us an update on how he's doing. When we first brought Amir and he had the energy and, you know, to, to come back and, and, and talk to us, he, his stuttering was so bad, we could barely even understand him because half of his body was paralyzed and, and, and he, you know, he, it, we could, we could barely understand anything that he was saying, but then, you know, three months later, we'd bring him back uh, as an inter on an interview and he sounded a little bit better and then a little bit better and, um, a little bit better throughout this whole turmoil. Uh, Amir had been, you know, struggling his family as his wife would take him to and uh, to and from the the hospital over the course of the next several years, um, you know, twice a week, three times a week for physical therapy, for appointments, for surgeries to 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 just get him better. And I frankly I don't know how one does it he needed help with everything and his family stayed by his side and really took care of him and nurtured him back to health and you know through years and years and years of hard work amir is back and he's thriving and I'm so happy, I'm so happy that he is back in our community and trading, and trading like he used to. And, and just so you guys know, in, in, our, in our chat room 10, 12 years ago, he was a show of force, uh, a scalping maniac, and he would harvest money out of the currency market like it's nobody's business and today I'm proud to say that he's back and it's amazing and it's one of the most amazing stories that I've ever heard of in my life I, and I, I'm just so happy to to have been a witness of this amazing feat of 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 human will uh, and and with that being said i'm so happy to have amir here today as a guest on the face webinar so with all that being said i'm going to bring on amir and so you guys can hear him uh let me see if i can find him here there he is excuse me really quick I have to switch him over to a uh, uh, to bring him onto the staff. Amir, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can. Amir, how are you doing today? I'm good, buddy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. I'm uh, just gonna go ahead and 
pull your picture on over here. My God, it's great to hear your voice. Uh, thanks, bud. So I, I don't know if I got every part of the story. I mean, this has been, I, I mean, we're, we're talking eight years or so of, 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 since since the the the, the initial um, unfortunate event happened in your life, I mean, this has been an amazing journey and the most inspirational story for 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 me. And I know for many people that are listening in that have been listening into our webinars for the, you know the last you know eight eight ten years. Um, how are you feeling today? I'm I'm, I'm great uh, actually. So um, yeah, it's been it's been uh, it's been a, it's been a long long journey, um, but things are uh, turning around and uh, I'm doing much better. Um, uh, the, the seizures um, has um, almost gone. Um, um, maybe just one every six months compared to uh, 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 having four or five a, a week. So that's gone. Um, um, trying to trying to be mobile as 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 much as I can and um, doing my own uh, uh, therapy. As you noticed, um, my speech is it's it's back. Uh, you sound. Uh, I don't think great. there's much of a study. <laughs> I know the only thing. The only thing is an accent, and my accent, and I can I can't help that I haven't been able to shake that off. But <laughs> what, what are you gonna do? <laughs> what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Yeah. I. Yeah. You so know, it's, been, it's been great. Gosh, Amir, I I'm I'm gonna I I have to say that you sound awesome. I've I've never been to Georgia. And it's one of those it's one of those um, things that I've thought about in my lifetime that I'm going to come visit you in April and hopefully Isabella you know before she goes off to college but isn't she she, she must be going off to college like like soon right I know she was yeah, touring some colleges yeah she's she's a junior and next year she's uh, um, she's uh, it, it's her senior year and she's off to college so. Actually, uh, this this Monday we're leaving, um, going to see a couple of universities, Emory and Georgia Tech. Uh, um, so um, she can she can uh, visit the university and see what they have to offer. Um, I know, and she's driving. Uh, um, I mean, the picture that you showed before, yes. and the picture of her right now. I mean, it's it's <laughs> it's, it's worth the part. It's it's uh, it's amazing. I cannot believe how much she's yeah, grown yeah, over that's my baby. over the years. I mean, it's just it's yeah. it's amazing, and she is beautiful, beautiful young lady. Yeah. I, I I I have to say, Amir, I have two boys, and uh, I, I'm <laughs> I feel for you guys that have a daughter. <laughs> I don't know yeah. what I would do. <laughs> I don't yeah. know, but I you know I I just want to I just want to say that. You know your story uh, is is so inspiring on so many levels to me, and um, I I and and I I honestly sometimes you know looking back, I mean I think about it all the time, and I'm sure you feel the same way. I I just don't know how you did it. Can you can you can you can you tell us like what what kept you going because I don't know how I, I, I don't know how it's humanly possible um, and and so can you just kind of give us a little insight on, on 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 honestly honestly it was it was a love of love of my family my wife and my daughter and um, you know April never left my side uh, and anytime I mean there, there were there was downtime that um, it wasn't only physical, mentally. Um, um, I was, uh, um, I was, I was depressed. I had PD, uh, PTSD, um, um, and and also I, I had some uh, brain injury um, uh, as well. That I was um, really um, struck. Was I was just struggling with. Um, but it was it was April, and it was 
Isabella. I look at Isabella and I couldn't just stop. And anytime I was in a bad place, April will come up to me and say, she, was, she, she tells me, hey, I'm with you. If you, if you. if you decide to give up, just let me know so I can, I can, I can figure out my life. And, you know, that, that keeps me going. As you know, April, um, the picture that you saw, uh, that you show, I was over 275 pounds. And she would lift me, she would put me in chair, she would uh, um, give, give me a bath, she would do everything for me uh, uh, at that time. So from 275, uh, I'm down to 218 now, so I'm, I'm, I'm coming back down. Uh, but that was that was what 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 it was it was the whole love of family together and plus I mean uh, um, I can't forget that what you all did for me you you, you were all there for me um, you helped me uh, uh, emotionally financially um, uh, uh, around Christmas time uh, I mean we, we I mean we, we really really we were broke. Uh, we were we, we were at the point of losing our our home, um, and 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 I mean we we all pulled it to, pulled it together and and we did it. So it wasn't it, it was it was my family and it was my family in a, in the FX market that we all did it together. And I'm and I'm and I'm so grateful for the rest of my life to all of you for whatever for what you have done. On what you have done for me? Well, I, I, uh, I, I, uh, I, I'm happy to have been um, part of it, Amir. I, I couldn't imagine, and and I know I, I've said this to our community um, many times over the years. I, I, we, we were really close. I mean, we spend a lot of time together, me and you, and me and you and the usually hundred other people that are in the chat room. I mean, I, I work from home. It's a, it's a lonely place. Yeah. As, as, as do you, um, you know, I don't, I don't work in an office environment anymore. Not like I used to. And, um, everybody in there is my extended family. I mean, I, I, I chat with, I chat with, the people in the chat room more than I chat with my my own family at times, especially my kids during the during the during the week. It seems like I'm I'm with these guys and gals more than anybody, and um, you know that's that's what we do for for family, right? And and in our community, is we're we're there for one another. So it, it we were very happy that we could be there to to support you, and and we're just I'm speaking on the behalf of everybody in our community. Uh, that, that trades the FX market. That's part of the now Forex Analytics family, but but then the Wise Trade family. Um, and I know many of the the Wise Traders are actually listening in right now. That may or may not be uh, trading the markets currently, because you know in the FX market, FX market, you know, for a lot of people, I I, I know uh, like like one one of our old uh, chat room members, um, uh, 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 Bruce is he's listening in right now he's from he's from my, my town from Phoenix and I know he may not be in the markets as much anymore but he's tuning in right now just to listen to you um, Marie from Detroit uh, who's who who uh, uh, is doing real estate because she's you know she's uh, uh, got into the real estate market when the Detroit market was really um, you know down in the dumps several years ago she stopped trading FX to uh, to um, uh, 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 you know, do real estate in the time being, but she'll be back in the markets. And, you know, she was very uh, much of a supporter of you years back. And I know she's listening right now. Uh, I don't know if she's actually listening in right now, but I know she'll be listening to this interview because we keep in touch via Twitter. Um, and, and so whether it's our community that's right now in the present or the ones that have been in the past that will be back in the, in, in, in the, uh, in the future, I can speak on the behalf of everybody. We are so proud of you, Amir, and we're so happy to have you back. And I'm so happy to have you in this, you know, this community that we have right here with with Forex Analytics to have you chatting with us every day. And you know, and and just so you guys know, Amir doesn't just chat. Amir is, you know, he's trading the markets pretty aggressively. So tell me, tell me, and everybody here. How's your transition been back to trading? Because 
I'm going to, I'm going to take you back to the, in the day um, when we had the wise trade webinars and we had the daily, you know, we had the morning edge and we, we used to broadcast over the uh, you know, we had a, a television set and we'd, we'd, we'd uh, pipe you in via um, you know, like a live broadcast from your, from your old uh, office in Maryland. And, uh, and you, I, I can, I remember, I can, I can actually see right now the treadmill behind your, do you remember that in your in your office yeah. you had an old treadmill back there? I can actually visually see your face uh, on 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 the on the live feed with your your treadmill in the behind you and talking, and you were you know so active scalping the markets. How's how's the transition transition been back into the markets over the last couple of years? Because now over the last year year and a half you're very active. And you do really well. So, so tell us a little bit about that. Yeah. <clears throat> so, if you remember, it was two years ago, um, almost a year and a half, I think, that we were, we were talking, and and you you mentioned to me said, I mean, um, do you want to come back to the market and 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 test it? I said, oh, I don't know. I don't know where my where my head is and all of that. And you even said that, you know, we can set up an account for you so you can start trading. And that made me think and. That really motivated me, and I said, you know what? I talked to April. I said, you know what? Let's. I, I want to do this to see if, if I am can, capable can, of. It. Can I stop you right there? Just so you guys yeah. know, when 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 I said that to Amir, I said, hey, listen, you know, uh, we were talking amongst our community, and we're like, hey, let's 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 put some money together. We're going to give Amir an account so he can start trading it. And just so as everybody here knows, Amir declined. He declined our offer. He, in true Amir form, wanted to do it on his own. So, okay, now I'll, I'll let you go back. You talked to April, and she said? Yeah, I, I talked to April, and I said, yeah, why not? Because that would be a, that would be a, a, the next step for you, to, to, to try to conquer things again. And again, at that time, I wasn't as well as I am right now. I, had, I was stuttering uh, real bad. Um, I was still under a lot of medication, um, uh, really, uh, uh, I was on morphine, I was on oxy, I, I was on uh, a bunch of stuff that it would just drive, drove me crazy. Um, so I, I weaned off all of that medication, I don't take any, um, uh, um, uh, uh, any narcotic drugs any anymore um so that that made made me feel much better and and then we put some money together you know i started i started the account with um like eighteen hundred dollars and um i came in uh, and uh, as you know it was it was very slow for me i um it was right um um um, it was, I think, it was right before um, um, uh, um, I think it, it was right before uh, Halloween that I started started trading. It was a slow. Um, my mind couldn't take it. My, uh, I couldn't look at the monitor for a long time. But I went back to what I to what I knew, and what I what I knew was was. Um, you know, I I trade uh, I trade with the trend line uh, trend lines. I trade uh, with the Fibonacci. I I trade with uh, um, the the simple simple technical. And then I had you on my side because, uh, um, um, uh, for instance, the bias chart that you that you have and you put it on and you work on it and you put it on on our chat room. Uh, uh, that's like my that's like my Bible yeah. or Quran or whatever you want to call it. So those are those are my guides, the guidelines of of trading, and um, I started. If you remember, it was two two hours, maybe two hours a day. I I started trading, and uh, um, uh, I came I came I came back and um, trade more. I wasn't as aggressive. I couldn't be as aggressive as I was in the past. Really scalping scalping the market the way I used to, but. But having the chart, you now having having um, um, uh, uh, forex analytics, uh, 
analytics and, and reading it, and, and, and another part of it being being in a in a chat room, uh, uh, it helps me a lot. I trade my own trade. I don't. Um, uh, I really don't uh, um, follow anybody 100% um, at a time. I do trade based on you or some other people, but uh, having a different idea and having a different set of eyes. Uh, on certain certain currency that I, I am looking at, um, it, it it make me pause or make me think twice about uh, my action and my my positions, which uh, which really really uh, um, help helps me helps me a lot a lot in trading. So I normally right now I'm I'm up around seven seven in the morning and I do my due diligence like pass. I, I get up and, and I look at look at the chart and I pick one, two, or three uh, pairs that that I think I have there is a good potential for three to four hours that I'm that I'm in front of the computer, uh, so I can so I can trade it. And then comes you, comes comes uh, uh, your bias chart. I read everything that you put on. I, I not really I I see everything, but my mind does not. Does not grasp so much information and material that is on the uh, um, uh, forex analytics. So I really look at look at the uh, basic and technical technical that you have that you have, and 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 I follow that, and I'll go and and you all know it that when I'm in a trade, I I I tell you I'm in a trade, and when I exit, I let you know that when I'm exit. So I. It's like I'm trading live with everybody else, and um, hey, at some point uh, you and I might be in a, a, against each other in a, on the same pair in, uh, in a different different direction. But but I st I, st I stick to my plan. I uh, uh, I I don't abandon my plan. And um, I mean, I, I, as I said, I started I started with eighteen hundred dollars. Um, um, right now. Uh, I am in a mid uh, uh, five figures in my account uh, over over a year and a half of of trading, which hey, I'm very proud of myself. So, uh, um, uh, and that's 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 really what what I have been have been doing. That's you and know, a mirror, way, it's a, it's it's like, awesome. A way, yeah, and and you know, I used to be in front of the in front of the monitor. Maybe twenty hours a day, but being in front of being being in front of the monitor, uh, maybe five, six hours or four hours, it has given me a different perspective to the market. Uh, because because when I come back, uh, um, uh, um, I see what happened in the past. I don't miss things that I used to miss, and I don't jump in because I have to jump in. Uh, um, uh, of a fear of uh, 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 missing a trade, trade or anything. So even spending spending less time in front of the monitor has been really really helpful to me. Uh, uh, seeing seeing a broader market um, than than watching every tick moves up and down. You know, um, Amir, the, it's it's uh, it's amazing to have witnessed what you have gone through what you have done and where you're at right now and i i have to say it's like so it's just, it's just it's so amazing and i'm so proud of you um for for it and uh it's it's the cool it's so cool you know you know what i what i also um what i also realized is that um you're you're obvi you're you're obviously trading the markets uh well um you're 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 not in maryland anymore and you can see by this picture and this picture was taken a couple of years ago um uh, you're, yeah. you're 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 in georgia now you 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 relocated your family um after the uh event uh, events that have taken place in your life, correct? Yeah, I mean, uh, um, I just, I was, we were just tired of uh, um, um, living in a metropolitan area, traffic, crime, and everything that was happening. And then um, during these years, April, uh, 
every Thanksgiving, it would put put me in a put me in a car, and I didn't know where we were going, and drove me down to Georgia. Um, we live in Saint Saint Simon's Island in Georgia, and it's a really small island. It's beautiful. It's it's gorgeous. Uh, because uh, because one of her besties uh, uh, lived there, and we spent uh, Thanksgiving with them. I mean, I was out of it. I wouldn't know where we at and what it is. But that'd be the, around this time. The last, yeah, yeah, and then uh, yeah, and then after this is this is I, I'm, I'm actually much better. As you see, I have a cigar. So when I when this when the cigar is in the picture, that means uh, yes, I got. Uh, uh, I got the clearance from doctors that says, okay, now you can smoke your cigar if you, if you want to. But it was before, before that. But but the last trip that we made, and I was I was more aware of the situation and my surrounding, I, I look at it and said, oh my God, this is such a beautiful place. I've been bringing you down here for the past three years, four years. And I said, let's move here. And we were up there, we packed, packed, packed up. And we came down here. It is such a beautiful place, beautiful place for us, beautiful place for Isabella. Uh, and she she loved it. I mean, we love it. And it's it's a small community. It's a small, really small. It's a uh, two miles by by twelve miles uh, island um, that we live in. And it's 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 been. I mean, that that brought me back. Uh, helped me a lot to to. Uh, to concentrate, uh, to, uh, uh, to we don't have to travel two and a half, three hours um, back and forth to Baltimore for physical therapy, for speech therapy, all that stuff. So um, we got our life back, and um, and it's been it's been great. And um, the update that I could also give you. These two, these two incidents, as you know, they they were not related. They were two separate incidents. So, right. Um, a few years ago, a few years ago, um, um, uh, a group that robbed my house and stabbed me. They were they were captured. Um, uh, Thank God. Total, yeah. They, in total, they robbed over 120 homes. They were a group of 15 uh, that would go to a neighborhood and. Uh, and just r- rob homes, so um, um, they got captured. But um, um, the other guy who um, shot me never heard anything, so we don't know. But uh, I was I was never uh, I was never angry about it. I was never for a revenge. None of that stuff. I mean, my whole concentration was to be able to get better and come back. So, um, so that's 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 pretty that's pretty much it. But uh, I'm back. I'm I'm doing great. I smoke my cigars once in a while. I drink my my uh, 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 my whiskey, scotch, uh, and 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 enjoying life. You know. I was gonna say. That's I was gonna what say you get you, you forced to retire before age of fifty. You know. You're you're always posting these pictures of you and your bottles of whiskey, which I, I'm I'm glad that the 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 doctor has given you clearance on that, and uh, <laughs> it's so awesome. <laughs> and and yeah, the, yeah, so that's, the, that's, that's the, and I was to say that the the thing I love most about this picture of you and Isabella is that you have your cigar tucked in your shirt, and that is uh, yeah. classic Amir. And just just so you guys know, uh, Amir. Uh, one year, like years ago, um, this is, you know, talking about eight, eight, nine years ago, Amir, and, and, and by the way, Amir and his family, um, I remember the one Christmas in particular, I think it was the first Christmas that we, we all band together and help out and helped out, um, cause we wanted to make sure Isabella had, uh, you know, wanted to try to make sure she had a great holiday and, um, and my wife was just setting up her her company, Birdie Town. And we we set up a, a list of so she could put a, a bunch of uh, items that she wanted, whether it was like a new iPod or um, you know some some things. And uh, April and Isabella handmade handmade crafted me a in my family a, uh, a, a, a this beautiful um, Christmas decoration. It was a it was a glitter bomb. 
I, I honestly can tell you it was a glitter bomb. It was so pretty, but it, but when it got to me and I opened the box, glitter went everywhere. It was so funny. I, I'm like, Oh my God, I just got hit by a glitter bomb. And, uh, it, and it is, is this, uh, this, this, uh, beautiful paper mache type of, uh, 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 ornament that, that they made for me by hand. And I, I have it and I treasure it and it and I, and, and tell, tell your daughter and your wife, I, I still, have that um that ornament and i love it but um uh, i just remember that year or maybe it was the following year you sent me some cigars and uh which i i did smoke by the way and you sent me a, a box of cigars and 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 since that day every i think it was every two weeks i still get i still get a a, a catalog in the mail from that company <laughs> <laughs> which is awesome but uh, amir I, I i just want to say you are the most inspirational person in my life i i there's there's no one that i've I mean, I, I, you know, you hear all these stories on TV and, you know, uh, you know, whether it's, you know, 60 minutes or whatever, you know, uh, of these inspirational stories, but you're really a hero. And, and I want to just take a moment to, to read a couple of comments from, from our, from our listeners, if you don't mind, uh, that none of them are questions. Um, they're more comments. Um, Bruce uh, from from Phoenix, who is uh, used to be in the chat room with us, he's not really trading as much anymore. But he says, "Hey, the, Bruce from Arizona here. I was thinking about uh, Amir the other day. This is incredible news. So awesome." Uh, Alan says, Out, "Outstanding courage." Um, uh, uh, Eric, uh, who's E in our chat room, says, "You sound so great," and he misses uh, um, Mar Mar Marie um as well and uh chad says accent that south georgia draw question mark uh craig says be proud of your accent amir and um vamsey says you and amir brought back nostalgic moments years back when the incident took place uh years ago amir is truly inspirational to the fighting spirit and um and alan says hero is the right word and Alan says I'm in tears over here Blake and um, uh, Assad says uh, God helps those who help themselves and Ron um, who's a longtime listener Ron says if you ever wondered what courage sounds like here it is and that there's there's no better way to uh, to, to to really I think explain your situation it really really is the case um, a couple you know obviously you, you 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 can go back in the chat room and read all the the comments that just came through um, that that are everybody's you know saying uh, thing nice things to you but you can you can catch up with them in the chat room and uh, Amir I I'm I, I really look forward to the day that I, I get to sit on you know your 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 patio and 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 share of a uh, uh, a, a bottle of uh, whiskey with you and a, and a cigar. I, I really look forward to and that day. Invitation, invitation is, is is always open to you and everybody else that that I know and I and I and I chat with. I, you know, it's not it's not a matter of being a hero. It's 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 it, 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 it's just that I wanted to have my life back, my normal life. That's that's all I wanted to have to get back to my family and what I have. That was. That was my true, true inspiration to 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 get to get back, and and and, and that was it. I wanted my simple, good, uh, full of love uh, life back, and uh, and I'm and I'm there, and I'm so happy, so 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 happy, happy about it. And you know, you should be you you should be inspirational to anybody who's listening in. First of all. But if you're a trader, specifically, and you're listening in, for somebody to go through the situation that you've gone through, Amir, and come out on top, and, and when I say coming out on top, you're living, you're thriving, you're loving, you're trading, 
you're 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 making money trading for for you to be able to do that everybody listening in should be like man if he could do it under those circumstances i can do it and 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 really you are an inspiration and um and i'm so happy to be in your life and part of your life and uh tell tell april i'm i'm even though we're friends on facebook i don't get on facebook hardly at all anymore but just tell her that uh that that um she's she's the best because i i agree with what you said earlier because of her you're here today and, and yeah, your daughter obviously as well my, yeah, she's my true angel i mean she's i always believe that she's she she is my she is my angel and she that's why she's with me. Uh, without her, um, uh, I, I don't think I would have been able to do twenty percent of what what I have accomplished up to this point. So um, yeah, she's not listening. I'm glad she's not. Otherwise, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, you know I'm going to be in trouble. But 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 yeah, without without her, none of this was possible possible. And she she's a true rock. She's amazing. Uh, in, in yeah. Absolutely an amazing woman. Amazing, amazing woman. And tell her uh, I'm just I'm I'm uh, thank her and thank your daughter for me. Uh, Amir, I just want to read you a couple more comments. Uh, JT says I don't. JT from our chat room says I don't even have any words to say. I'm speechless. Thanks for sharing, Amir. And uh, Chris says, I'm a newbie with face. Just wanted to say truly inspirational story. You're a great bunch of guys providing great services to the trading community. Have a fantastic Easter and thank you. Uh, Nick says, true warrior, Amir. All the best to you and your family. And Amir, I, I just want to say thank you. Thank you, for, thank you for taking the time to be here with us. Uh, I know you're with us, every, for, for those of us in the community, you're with us every day, but thanks for taking the time to actually speak with, with the, the face community and, and share your story because, um, like I said, it's, I, there, there are going to be people that listen to this over and over and over again, this particular interview, because it's so inspirational. And, um, and I'm, I'm proud to call you my friend. I really am. Same here, bud. Uh, um, um, and, um, I'm I'm happy that I'm back to 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 my uh, uh, trading family. Um, 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 I I'm grateful. Uh, I love you all. And uh, and I mean, you you, you said it again. Uh, uh, trading trading is a, such a uh, trading uh, market is a, such a lonely lonely place. Yeah, it is. You know? it, it is. And so, oh, go ahead. And not, I mean, not only, not only we can uh, we can share ideas, we can we can also use some laughter uh, uh, in our in our chat room that we, we are together. That and that makes you day goes faster. If you have a bad trade, uh, 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 it it helps you if you you are uh, trying trying to uh, uh, to open a position position closing in. Being being in a, in our chat room, it helps you a lot to uh, helps you a lot to to uh, 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 make make a sound decision decision for 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 yourself. So so really, without uh, chat room, is it's it's a must for me. And uh, 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 anybody who is in that chat room probably uh, uh, would agree with me that 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 it make us it make us. All a better, better trader, and uh, all of it is, is uh, uh, thanks to you. Uh, from from 11 years ago, you you have been a great, great uh, mentor, uh, uh, also inspiration to us. And you you never left anybody behind. Uh, let me tell you that, Blake. And and I'm and I'm grateful and I'm honored to uh, call you a friend as well. Oh, thank you, Amir. I really appreciate the kind words. Um, with that, I'm going to I'm going to let you enjoy your Easter weekend, and uh, I I I want to just thank you again. And and next time next time you come back, maybe we'll talk a little bit about strategy and how you how you tackle the markets. And um and and you you sound so amazing. I I, I just I, I just I'm so tickled just to hear you speak. It's it's uh <laughs> I just I can't I can't get over seven or eight years ago when we just couldn't even understand a word you're saying and now it's like uh, uh so amazing surprises. 
it's it's so, <laughs> so great. It's so great. All right, Amir, thank you so much for being here with us today. And and folks, I am going to be um, uh, with Greg Horvat and Steve. We're going to talk a little bit about the markets um, when um, here in a few moments. But I'm going to let Amir go and enjoy his uh, his weekend. And uh, again, lots of love to your family, Amir. Kisses to April and thank Isabella. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Happy Easter to all, and uh, have a have a great holiday. All right. Thanks, Amir. Thank you. All right. I'm going to put you on mute and. Um, and, and guys, that was Amir Dula Shahi. Uh, again, just an amazing story. I'm gonna get rid of his picture here. If, if you, I mean, you just Google search his name and, uh, and then read like, you know, the stories here. It's like, uh, you know, for, for that to happen to one individual, for those two events, uh, they're not related. To have those two unfortunate events happen to one person in 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 a lifetime is like I, I don't even know that how that happens but how he has pers persevered and overcome adversity is the the real story and 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 I'm just I, again I'm so happy to have him uh, here and be a part of it and to be a part of his you know his journey um, just to experience it it, it it's it's so inspiring. Um, all right, uh, I, I know Steve and Greg and and maybe Stelios are are listening in and live right now. Guys, can you hear can you hear me? Yes, Blake, absolutely. Yes. Hey, 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 hey guys. Um, how, wow, who was that? Um, what what an amazing what an amazing story with Amir, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, hey Greg, how you doing? I'm fine, thanks. It's been a while since I was here, huh? Yeah, it's it's uh, it's it's great to great great to have you here. So, guys, what do you think about Amir? I, it was for me. It was uh, you know excellent hearing Amir again. I mean, since the last time I heard him on the morning edge, I, I wouldn't even have guessed uh, you know that he, he went through what he what he did. If I hadn't heard him before, if I didn't know his story, he sounds so much better. I mean. Uh, uh, you know, it's it's excellent to hear him, and I see him every day on the chat room. I mean, uh, you know, I'm I'm really proud of him. He's you know he, he's he's an amazing guy. He's truly inspirational. He is, isn't he? Yeah. And you've 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 heard him before. I mean, through this whole the whole literally. I mean, you probably I guess I came across you, Steve, maybe about three or four years ago, maybe four or five years uh, ago. Yeah, four or five years ago. Yeah. Yeah. So you you've you've really you've heard Amir back when Quite. he. Yeah, I've he, heard him twice actually. Well, like, like, how did he sound when you first heard him versus how he sounds today? It, it was very, very hard tracking what he was saying. It was very, very hard. Now it's, you know, he's, he's back to, I guess, you know, normal. And you know, it's, I, I'm, I'm absolutely certain it has, it has been a huge fight and you know, a slow path to, to recovery. But you know, Amir, Amir is obviously born a fighter, right? Yeah. Yes. Absolutely. Hundred percent. Hundred uh, percent. It's just it's it's amazing that to, to hear his recovery and especially his recovery in the markets. I mean, you you see him in the chat room. He's just super active and scalping around. And you know, he may not be trading huge size, but he's you know he's uh, he's he's doing it. You know, he's doing it and he's doing it you know successfully. And I and I and I applaud him for for his tenacity and 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 keeping it simple and getting uh, in I, there. I can tell you one thing: the vast majority of people would have quit with a lot less. You know what I mean? Happening to them. Oh God, yeah. I would say, yeah, the majority, the the high majority for sure. Um, so it's it's real, it's really cool. Um, hey, hey uh, I, I I'm I'm going to have to bow out here in a moment. I I um, but I know that Greg wanted to share some technical views. Yeah, absolutely. Of the market. I mean, we've, def we've definitely missed uh, Greg because of the time change. It wasn't possible for him, you know, until the. U.S. and the uh, European hours recoupled with, uh, you know, the usual difference for him to be during the past couple of weeks, and I'm sure everybody in the community uh, has missed his, you know, Elliott Wave uh, point of view. So, you know, I'm yeah. really happy with we have him here. Great, and, and so, hey guys, I'm going to turn it over to you. And Greg, it's, I, I don't, I'm not bowing out because you're here. I got to bow out because I got to take care of something personally um, uh, with my son uh, this morning. So. Um, I'm not going to be with you guys, so I'm going to turn it over to uh, Greg. Do you want to share your 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 charts? Sure, of course. 
Okay, cool. And and hey, thanks for taking the time, Gregor, for being here with us. And I'm I'm sure everybody's going to love to uh, uh, see your uh, uh, Elliott Wave point of view. Of course. Thank bye, you. bye, Blake. Have a nice hey, evening, mate. Bye, Blake. Hey, you guys have a have a happy Easter, and everybody listening in, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. And uh, and and I'm going to actually come back and listen to the recording of Gregor's uh, piece um, when we post it on YouTube a little bit later today. Uh, when Valu, our, our 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 technical wizard, posts it up there t uh, later today, I'm going to listen to it because I want to hear your viewpoints as well. But I have to bow out right now, and I have to go. So happy Easter, everybody. Um, enjoy the long weekend. Thank you. Happy Easter, Blake. Thank you, Stelios. You too. Thanks, Grega. Thanks, uh, Steve. Hey, Grega. Hey, man. So I see you're, you're, you're about to start with uh, EuroUSD, right? Not really. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I, I want to cover that uh, uh, long-term cycle analysis, you know, as you know, that I uh, uh, Yeah, shared. the one that you shared on, uh, on yes. Skype with us. Some yes. Days, some days ago. It was so in the because school, yeah. there are a lot. Of, I got uh, plenty of questions recently where I think uh, stocks are headed. So um, I really want to highlight here what I see and um, how much time is there left for potential more upside. Mm -hmm. um, so as you know, as we discussed also on Skype, as I said, here uh, we have uh, data of S&P 500 back from 1929 when market crashed significantly. And actually what I'm tracking is this cycle analysis, which shows two equal cycles actually. So the first cycle was 39 years, which lasted from this bottom to this high, okay? So it was a 39 years old cycle. And then we had another cycle that I um, projected from 1982 lows, and I came out with year of 2021, which means, what, four years from now, okay? So this is one cycle analysis, which suggests potential uh, top formation here on this, uh, on this year. And another interesting thing is the following. Okay, just a second to erase it. <clears throat> is the following. So here we had a 20 years of a bullish run. Okay, and then we had a 35% correction compared to this bullish run. Okay, so it's a correction in time compared to the previous 20 year cycle so here was a bullish cycle that lasted 20 years and here was a 13 years of a correction which was 35 percent less but what is interesting that the same percentage was then the longer cycle in the next period which was bullish okay so here was then a 13 years of a pullback and then we had a 30 percent longer cycle compared to the previous pullback okay makes this sense steve mm -hmm. Mm -hmm, absolutely okay and then what it's interesting that now we had from 2000 to 2009 it was a pullback of nine years which in time means 50 percent less compared to the previous cycle which was 18 years okay so if we now consider that in the previous cycles we had a 35 percent longer rise compared to because it was the same percentage of decline then mm -hmm. it means that now we could be in a 50% longer rise. And what is significant is that we came out with a similar date compared to this 39 year cycle analysis. Okay. Yeah. Exactly. And that's not only that. Okay. Uh, the next thing is that from an Elliott wave perspective, okay, as you can see, if we project it from here, we have seen strong move up, then a pullback, strong move up. And a pullback and a strong move up. So, what is the next phase? Okay, clearly we expect a pullback. Also, from the Elliott wave perspective, we are in a fifth wave here. Okay, I'm not saying that the fifth wave is already finished here. Fifth wave can all, always be extended and would not be surprised to see an extension to the upside because we have what? Three or, or four uh, years left before potential top formation. Okay, but for long term investors to get in right here, it's definitely too late. Okay, we probably had the same situation like maybe if we would look back 
you would say, I want to go in here because stocks are in uptrend and then you see a pullback. I'm sure that there were um, similar um, group of investors that wanted to take long positions when market was rising significantly here. And then you also saw a pullback. So I think that rather than looking for investing opportunities here, I think there are investing opportunities on some other markets like maybe commodities, which are trading much, much lower rather than on stocks. So when it comes to investing, I think it's, they really should be careful because uh, a time, time suggests that the top maybe it's not so far away, okay? Definitely not if you're a long-term investor because top can be a long process and maybe top will form for the next three years, okay? Maybe it will not be an extension to the upside. So it's very important that you realize that the next cycle, when it comes, it will be to the downside. Okay, because not, nothing moves just in a straight line. So um, this, this is what I want to show with the S&P 500 cycle analysis. And what is really interesting that if we consider that we are in a fifth wave before, I may say that we are approaching to the top, we still need five waves within this wave five. So we still need a completed valid substructure within the current pattern. Okay, but on the lower time frame charts, as I will walk you through monthly and weekly charts, I will show you that uh, there is room for more upside and te technically speaking. And there from one more and this from cycle from time perspective, it's not really a surprise. Actually, it's a perfect match. Elliott wave pattern on the monthly weekly chart suggests that we see room for more upside. And the current stage, the stage from February highs is just a correction. And this makes very nice, perfect sense if we consider this, uh, that market has three or four years uh, to make even higher prices. Okay, uh, what is that, Steve? Um, I, I said that, um, uh, so there is one more leg missing in for, for wave five to be completed. Yes, and I will uh, show you. The Why? question is, and I'm sure I'm sure that's what you're going to show us now. Is you know, since we found the double bottom, I'm going to use now the S the S and P since it's considered anyhow the uh, barometer for risk and the benchmark uh, index. Uh, you know, since we found the double bottom, uh, my question was, and I said it here on uh, on face multiple times, is is this going to be a triangle or is it going to be an ABC and perhaps see prices pushed down to 2400 or 2480 so do you think that we, you have enough structure in place to have a to have a good idea of what what, what of the two we're about to to see uh, unfold here yes actually because i'm looking at different uh, indexes not only the s&p 500 as you can see i have here uh, s&p 500 nasdaq dow jones dax euro 50 index uh, also french index nikkei australian index and also Hang Seng Index. So actually, all of those suggest. Uh, I will firstly now cover this monthly chart. All of those suggest that we are in a fifth wave of this advance from 2009. Okay, so we are in some kind of a light, uh, late stages here, but there is still room for more upside if you will zoom in this wave five. Okay, this wave five also needs to be structured by five subways. Okay, so this is the SP 500, where I will show you in the next lower time frame chart that we see room for more upside now here below you have dax dax what i'm looking at is uh, that we have seen a break out of this consolidation that lasted for nine years and then we are seeing a bullish advance which can be actually an ending down here okay so it can see more upside so also we see prices in the wave four also here in the euro 50 index the wave count is slightly different actually not the wave count but the price action itself it was more bearish but again we see room for more upside here for wave five of c to complete this flat correction then could see a turn to the downside um, also if we take a look here on nikkei i will show in the lower time frame charts that there is room for more upside for wave five before we turn and also here we are tracking this potential part of irregular correction which means wave b could maybe see slightly more upside maybe even retest here Australian index, uh, these highs from uh, 2007 then turn to the downside. So I see room for more upside here, okay? 
Um, but this cycle, this new lag to the upside, should occur when we have a completed correction, as you pointed, uh, Steve, on the lower time frame parts. So as you said, S and P 500 could be maybe uh, a triangle, could be uh, maybe a zigzag, right? So uh, the S and P 500 on the left, I am looking for a zigzag, okay? And the reason why I'm looking for a zigzag at this stage is because this decline on lower time frame charts looks impulsive. Also, what I'm looking here on the right is Dow Jones is potential ending diagonal here for still in progress for a wave uh, for a wave C. So I think that this level is really really important from February lows. Okay, I'm sure there are a lot of important orders down there. There are orders from those who are long, so it means they have stopped down there. And there are orders from those who want to be short after the breakout. So actually, if market clears this region and then turns up, both sides of the traders will be up. And normally, this means that the volatile moves could come in. So I would not be surprised to see a reversal to the upside. That's why you see so many ABC structures in uh, all over the place on the markets, on the charts, because around these wave A levels are important, as I said, important stop losses from those who are already long and new um, sell stop orders who want to be short on the breakdown. Okay, but if market the market orders need to clear them out and then resume. Yes, exactly. So this is uh, why, as I said, ABC is so, uh, so often of course in the markets. So uh, I'm looking for more downside here on the S&P 500. Maybe the one that it may not trigger this weakness here for wave A, uh, below wave A is, is NASDAQ 100 because as you can see, it was much stronger, okay? So it's not so low at this stage. So maybe it will form some kind of a running triangle formation, but this NASDAQ 100 is, it's very important confirmation actually that we are in a corrective phase and that we will not see any breakdown for a wave three. Why? Because if we consider that NASDAQ 100 moved to a new high with three waves, then we know that top is not in place yet because any bullish cycle cannot end with three waves to a new high, which means that this is part of uh, some bigger complex correction. Okay, so the idea is this is a correction, either maybe a flat or maybe a triangle. Okay, so which means that if NASDAQ 100 will continue to the upside, it means that S&P 500, it also should continue higher, right? Also, what I think that S&P 500 could see more weakness is because here on DAX, I see range price action. So this appears to be a triangle. So I think that next leg, should be to the downside, ideally wave C of wave four, and then we start turning to the upside, maybe uh, already late in April or May, okay? Or maybe we'll have to wait till summer. Uh, <clears throat> so what I think is that we will maybe consolidate next week, and then we will watch, for, uh, watch out for a, uh, for a next and final breakdown. And what is really interesting that we have a triangle here, and we know that after a triangle, market maybe at wave terms will make a final move within a larger trend and wave c in such case would be a final lag so in such case i would expect a new turn to the upside once we see break to new lows okay uh, so what i see here is that we are as i said in a wave four and i also can share i skip this weekly time frames you can also see here uh, why I'm looking for this to be a pullback. So here we have S&P 500, wave one, two, three, and now we are in a wave four. If we zoom this out, zoom in, not zoom out. Uh, also, we have wave one, two, extended wave three, now we are in a wave four. And also, when it comes to analysis, just ask yourself, after, two, after nine years or 10 years of a bullish run, what is the chance? Okay, that I am right if I would say the top is here. Okay, I probably no. would, yes. Always We're trying to top. pick tops and bottoms is a low chance. There's no question yes. about especially, it. Especially if you do not have a completed substructure or low time frame charts. Okay, so as we said, NASDAQ is 
seen as an in a irregular correction because of those three waves to a new high. So when everything comes together, uh, we really should be, with statistically speaking, and technically speaking, and uh, based on wide lines and rules of the Elliott wave principle, and based on this cycle analysis, I think there is a chance that this is just a temporary pullback. Okay, and as we know, everyone expects a top, and after this very strong decline in February, and this is very important, if the first lag is very, very strong and sharp from the highs, it normally clears out a lot of traders, investors, because of fear, because if market moves very strongly, they will react immediately. If market will move very slowly to the downside, that's a different story. Okay, so I'm sure that this is just another piece of psychology uh, which indicates that this was just first very strong reaction which caused a lot of fear. But now, as you can see in this, for the last few uh, few weeks, for the last two weeks, downside is not that strong compared to this uh, breakdown that we have seen in February, right? So I think that this is just lower uh, low volume currently but once we see this break below with a levels volume may pick up but in the opposite direction or I'm, I'm, I'm totally with you the past few, the past couple of weeks I've, I've kept repeating here that in my opinion uh, the move lower should be treated as a corrective one uh, we have absolutely no reason to believe that it's something more than that um, specifically for the SPX I said that it's either a triangle or it's going to be like an ABC of some kind but anyhow, as long as we remain above 2,400, uh, personally, I'm, I'm going to be looking for more uh, strength ahead. Um, but I also agree with uh, you know, your initial analysis. If you remember, we've done this conversation before, meaning that I believe that forward returns. So, for example, if somebody wanted to buy and hold for a period of time now, they would find themselves definitely uh, being underwater in a few years. Uh, we are very, very late in this cycle, and I'm pretty sure that this is a horrible place for somebody to be buying to hold in the long term. Yes, especially, you know why, because those who buy and hold don't have defined risk. They just put money in, and they just yeah. wait. Yes, yeah, absolutely. it's a very big risk here, because markets, if let's assume that we will see not wave C to the downside, but maybe wave 3, and I'm wrong then clearly there could be maybe 40 percent of a drop in price right so oh, yeah if if a move lower actually starts or whenever it starts i believe that we're not going to see anything less than 35 40 percent lower yeah, so it's no, much, no chance yeah so it for those who want to be invested longer term who just put money in and forget definitely yeah and and and, and let's let's look at the opposite side I think I think almost everybody that has a uh, you know that, that has a healthy um, approach and understanding of the markets, uh, it's it's almost impossible to see another forty percent higher from here before a, a leg lower begins, right? Yes, sure. I, I, I don't think I don't think that can happen. I don't think I mean whatever upside is left in in, in stocks at the moment is much more limited than that in my opinion. Yes, definitely. But this is when it comes to longer term. Maybe for short-term traders, it's definitely, oh, yeah, absolutely. definitely a new opportunity. I, I also look myself for these opportunities as well. I'm just waiting on this wave C to unfold, or I should say maybe wave four. And uh, once I recognize a condition, I may act. But the important thing is that I know where are my levels, where I will say that I'm wrong that, and that I'm not, and that we are not in a new bullish, bullish phase. Maybe rather starts of a new bear trend. So that's very important when it comes to Elliott Wave because you exactly know or you can define your potential levels where you should uh, shift your view. Because I know that Wave C is normally very similar compared to the Wave A distance, if we, which means you will look for a fifth level of 100%. So in such case, if I draw this real quick here, significant support for this pullback is down there around uh, 2450 or so. so but yeah, but I am also monitoring, you know, horizontal areas, and uh, I have two horizontal areas of interest. One of them is 2480, 
uh, for me, and the other one is 2400 uh, flat. So personally, oh, I think oh, that even but if they take more. 80 is probably out from this consolidation, right? Yeah. Around there. I guess, yes. 2490, okay. So yes, actually, it's we are in the same zone. This was a form of wave four. Definitely this uh, consolidation that should not be uh, overlooked. So definitely, I would be expecting a, a bounce from here as well. So, But if we start to break down sharply, let's say towards 161.8% uh, extension, then this would, could be some kind of a first alert that maybe something going on is, is, um, uh, is, is. Yeah, that we have a bearish structure in hand perhaps, yeah. Yes, exactly. That's something going on. It goes now, on some doesn't. other things that, that, that have been very clear to me here in the market is, first of all, that the Euro, the recent price action in the Euro USD and the cable uh, have, have definitely been corrective. I mean, they're slow, they're choppy, they're overlapping. So I think that those two should also push the new highs from here. Um, and I'm guessing that you, you can be seeing this in a different way because it's a very, very characteristic structure of, uh, of, of a corrective move, right? Uh, on the euro? <clears throat> yeah, on the euro to begin with. Yes, uh, you can clearly see that we just, even if we try to call a top here, it's, it's very tough to do because markets did not provide any significant breakdown yet. We are still just trading in a range and to me it looks like a triangle formation. Yeah, me too. Initially I was viewing it as a bull flag and recently I changed my view that this, this is likely a triangle. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm in complete agreement with you. So I think so, we're going to see a push higher from here. And I also think that the cable will probably also push uh, to new highs. Yeah. Even cable is even probably for trading or short-term bullish setups. Maybe even cable is, uh, has much better structure. Also, probably because of euro pound that broke down recently. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, if anyone wants to to be short the dollar and long some major, maybe pound could be a very good choice. For example, Aussie is very weak, right? Euro is not doing so well compared to pound. So I would probably consider a cable uh, instead of euro dollar next week. Also, uh, if we take a look on cable, I'll show you why I think this. It's noticed that market clearly made a free wave of retracement down from uh, these January highs. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, the move lower was uh, very indicative of a correction, very indicative. Yes, no way to count this in a positive fashion. So when we have this happening and completing, we know that this whole cycle should be fully retraced and we did not move to a new high yet, which means there is room for more upside. Also, yeah, and, and a good target uh, is the 50% FIB of like the long term chart if you look at it i mean from the um from the what was it, july 2014 high and the 15% high uh, from uh, the 50% fib from that comes at uh 145.37 i think that might act as an as a nice magnet uh, for the upside 61 50% uh, from the July 2014 high to the recent lows. Okay, we are probably a little bit more higher. Okay, I see. So actually, uh, but what is really important is that we are trading above this trend and support. So technically speaking, we have an uptrend in progress still. And more important, we have seen a reversal to the downside in the recent trade only in three waves. Okay, so if we can break this trend line to the upside, which means, and we hold this trend line, I think there's a chance for cable to see much higher prices. So this one could be in such case, as we look at this chart, it's in, it's a much better, clearer bullish structure or bullish trend, I should say, compared to the Euro dollar, which after all could also break to the up, upside because we see it in a triangle. But so far this appears to be more can be more productive to the upside, I should say. Oh, I agree with you 100%. The question is, what do you think about the Aussie USD? I'm, I'm asking because um, 
it's it's very near a level that has been extremely critical for me. It's a conflict of sports. Yes, I I will first take a look at gold. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, because of us. So actually, on gold, we see a very deep this uh, deep correction here that is in progress up from 2015 lows, and it appears that it's still underway. Okay. Um, because this recent bounce recovery, I should say, is still did not uh, pass these highs from 2016. So I think we will take sooner or later we will see a break above this level. Okay, which means there is room for more upside. The next thing why I believe this will happen is because on the four-hour chart, which means at this stage, okay, above. Yeah, it's a very clear uh, triangle. I agree with you 100%. Very clear it, triangle. It, it's a trying, probably triangle of progress. Can be labeled a little bit differently, but even if not triangle, it's a correction. Okay, so I think that we will see a break to a new high. So yes, I'm looking for a triangle A, B, C, D, E. Could be also flat. In a flat wave C is sharp, and this decline was quite sharp. And in such case, maybe it will be a weakness here below wave A, and then we see a turn to the upside. So this is also possible, but the idea is that this is a correction. So if this is a correction to we sooner or later starts moving to the upside, then I think that Aussie also can be in a correction. So uh, looking at the Aussie here, down from uh, this high is still a free wave move. And also notice that here first lag was ending diagonal. Here is ending diagonal, right? But the, yeah. what I want to say is that first leg was very sharp and strong. Okay, so same thing like I said earlier on stocks. When you have a first leg very sharp and strong, this is normally indication that it's wave A, not wave one. And especially if you have much slower price action, which clearly is the case here in a third leg of decline, which means that volume is where or momentum is decreasing, not increasing. But if you consider a top in place and you think this is a wave three, you should see much sharper price action. Yeah, because very true. Wave three, you should have accelerated. Exactly, you want to see very sharp extended wave based on the violence of the Elliott wave principle. So that being said, uh, in connection with gold uh, and the price action itself on Aussie, I do not see it that bearish yet, okay? And also... Add, add to that that Kiwi is also in support. And also, yes, New Zealand dollar is also seen in a corrective movement. So as long as we are above this level, above this trend line and above wave four swing low, I think calling a top of Aussie is definitely too soon. And I should be aware of potential another lack to the upside, okay? There is a chance you see my alternative that Top is in place because we are, after all, or at do or die level. So we have to see our response from here, either a breakdown or a bounce. But I still think that a bounce could happen after all. Okay. And and that also uh, that also bodes well uh, with a, a probable theory that uh, you know stocks should rather soon perhaps resume another leg to the upside because we know very well that. Uh, currencies like the Aussie, like the Kiwi, are highly correlated with uh, risk mood. So, you know, uh, stocks moving higher and Aussie catching a bid and Kiwi catching a bid, uh, obviously, you know, usually go together, right? Yes. And also, as a point that I wanted to show this New Zealand uh, <clears throat> here it is. Clearly, we don't see any significant bearish impulsive price action but this first leg was not really impulsive rather in three waves then we have wave x and now can be another three wave decline okay so overall i think this could be a correction a complex one that is part of this still ongoing recovery okay also i leveled here as a completed flat correction from uh, 2016 was a starting point and the end point was here uh, last year in November. And you can see very strong re uh, reversal to the upside. So clearly, if this 
is a very strong move and extended, as you can see, it must be an impulse. And so far, this pullback is not anywhere near compared to the previous rise, okay? And it's not it, on the quite long. So I think this is a nice potential wave B correction. It also reached a previous wave for swing close here some important level so i think that there is a chance that we will turn higher yeah, in april every and single chart you showed in essence points to a weaker dollar at least you know for for another leg yeah for at least for another leg yeah at least for another leg so th this is more than obvious i remember your point of view was very clear and for every single day that passes it proves to be uh, more accurate meaning the longer the days pass and uh, dollar, the dollar index is doing absolutely nothing but just consolidating, obviously the higher the chances that this is just one more consolidation before a resumption of what has been the trend since the very, very first, first days of 2017, so another push to the downside. The question is, what about the USD yen? Because that's, that's one of the tricky parts here. I mean, we saw a very strong day, what was it, a couple of days ago, and you know, an obvious yeah. bounce from the lows with RSI divergence, etc. Do you think that we've actually found the low that perhaps the USD yen is the only uh, dollar part from a uh, dollar pair from what we've seen so far that might have found the low? You, you know, just from a price action perspective on dollar yen, it's looking very solid bounce. Okay, but when it I comes, to, but it, when it comes to saying that yes this one is very good to make a long trend uh, to make a long uh, position uh, i want to look at some correlated pairs and or markets and what i notice is that actually this dollar yen rallied to the upside when stocks were sideways okay mm -hmm. so very dollar yen did not move to the upside with stocks which means dollar yen somehow moved it it had its own flow and also, 10-year uh, U.S. notes were trading to the upside, which means yields were lower, which mm -hmm. again did not confirm this bounce on dollar yen. So overall speaking, this I don't know if this dollar yen move to the upside can be faded, will be faded. It's maybe just only temporary. Especially, I'm wondering what will happen when stocks make more weakness from those uh, charts that I showed you earlier that we see. That's in a triangle. We see more yeah, of those. I, I understand, but it's not impossible, as we've seen in the past, that perhaps one of one one good tell that perhaps the, uh, one more push lower from stocks is going to be the end of a correction would be if stocks did push to new lows, and contrary to what we've seen in the recent past, USD yen did not follow uh, them to make a new low, right? So in essence, showing uh, finally some, di some divergence to the upside, because if you remember, we had USD yen diverging to the downside long before stocks rolled over to start the correction. So what if we get the exact opposite scenario happening uh, in this case? USD yen, I mean, diverging to the upside and this way hinting that uh, even yeah. another push lower for yeah. stocks is... Dollar yen trying to leap everything. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. It's very possible. But um, I'm still, you know, I would love to see, for example, yesterday, I would agree with the dollar yen if stocks would bounce. Stocks were higher yesterday, but dollar yen did not move, not even what? Not even 50 pips. Yeah, although, although this, this little move lower, I mean, in the very, 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 very short term, definitely looks like a corrective one. So, correct. so maybe yeah. we'll get only a wave C rally here and then we drop again. Okay? Yeah, so perhaps. Yes, yeah, so um, when it comes to trading, if stocks would be making also five waves to the upside, okay, and if yields would be also rising, I would probably be already long dollar yen here. Or at least have my... But you're still very skeptical, I understand. Yes. Yes, and especially because of holidays and so on. And yeah, yeah, or obviously. I would, I could go in in such situation as well because there's still some nice uh, potential upside. But in such case, with much much lower risk compared to maybe 
bullish stocks if they would match up with uh, with the counts. So, uh, but technically speaking, here on a weekly chart, okay, uh, I still think that sooner or later we will see a price turning to the upside uh, for a wave D, and that this is only a free wave decline. So, uh, after all, I'm seeing prices at the end of this wave C cycle, right? But maybe this uh, wave is just going to be more complex and we see a new low and then turn to the upside. So there is possibility that this is also, that my count labeling here is wrong and maybe this is also a flat formation in wave four. I wanted to ask you about one more chart that I know that, that has a lot of people torn uh, and you know has made it very hard to interpret. I actually top picked the USD card and, and I was short uh, from literally like, I don't know, uh, less than 20 pips from the high. But I got rid of my position like this week because I saw that it was not willing to push lower from 128. And in my opinion, as long as USD card stays above 128, you know, there is a potential for another push higher. But it's not that I would swear by it. I mean, I, it's not that I feel very confident about it. I just you know, wanted to book my profits because 128 for me was critical and I saw that there was no more momentum to the downside and I thought, okay, that's already a good trade. But what do you think? Has USD card topped or it has one more push to the to the upside or even more than that? I don't know how you're viewing it. Personally, I want to be short USD card from higher if, if that had comes because I do believe that there is a lot more weakness ahead for the USD card. But I, I think you know, from higher levels, but perhaps 133. What, what, what do you think? Has has the recent move changed anything in your viewpoint? My wave count, okay, suggests that we are in a correction. But he, here's the key point: correction is made by free waves, right? So mm -hmm. wave four, this wave four is not done yet. Maybe this is not wave four. Maybe wave this first cycle finished here, and we are in a larger degree wave two pullback and we go higher. So when it comes to trading, right, I think there is a very good chance for nice short setup, despite my bullish count, because uh, different interpretation indicates that we are going to see lower prices. The first thing is that we have five waves down from the highs. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next thing is that currently we are already seeing some kind of a slow recovery. So I think that we are here in a corrective phase of wave B. Also, let me point out that, that with this decline to the downside, somehow can't catch up this lag compared to crude oil. Okay, and if finally those two are now back, I see more upside on crude oil, I see it in a wave four, which mm -hmm. means that cat could get stronger. Okay, so technically speaking, and based on crude oil, based on Elliott wave interpre interpretation here on our chart, I think there is room for more weakness. And also, if you see here, there is a left shoulder, head and a right shoulder. Absolutely, yeah. There is a potential for a head and shoulder. Yes. So me. despite my very important, yes, very important invalidation level here, I think that there is a chance, as I said, for potential good setup to the downside. Also, I really love the setup when it comes to nice Elliott wave pattern to, as I said, intermarket analysis, which means I see crude oil in a wave four, and also to psychological level. And 1.3 is definitely a psychological level. And notice that it comes in exactly at the 61.8% retracement. And also we see a corrective advance here. Okay, so everything suggests that we could see a reversal to the downside. This is this pair is my primary pair that I'm tracking for potential shorts next week. Okay. okay. Uh, and uh, so and so you more Yeah. And so you more the short term. Yes. And despite yeah. the different labeling here that you were still bullish. Okay, because I'm a trader, I'm just analyzing the charts for clients, for everyone, so that, that I have an eye on everything each day, but I want to highlight when I find something useful. Okay. So I make 100 analyzes per day. But maybe I will not put in even one trade. But it may be a different analysis on a longer term perspective, on a short term perspective. It still can have a um, nice setup in the opposite direction.
So, uh, so do you think that the, the move that might start from 130 that you projected is going to be the last leg of a, a correction and then another push to, to new highs? Uh, or do you think that it might actually uh, be uh, a, a wave three, let's say, I, and I say, start a new impulse? No, I, I would say this. This will probably be wave C. Okay, if we fall below this validation level, I would probably put this alternate count in play. And I would say this was a completed five wave cycle. We are in the ABC and we're going then again to the upside. Because uh, I'm, I'm really curious what will, of course, happen uh, with crude oil and what will happen in dollar index in general. Okay, I, I completely understand. So more weakness for now and we see depends on, on the nature and the structure of that weakness. Uh, if we... I, when I analyze, I try to, um, to, to explain my clients that focus on one leg per time, okay? So focus I'm expecting weakness. And once this weakness will get underway, then I will try to figure out what is going on on a longer time scale. Because I'm, I don't want to predict too far into the future. I want to predict and focus what is happening now. So I'm expecting a decline. Let's see what kind of a decline this will be. It will be a sharp drop, five drop, impulsive drop with an extension st uh, structure. Then I will say, okay, this was wave three, not wave C. Okay, so we have time to maybe to make or to change our de decisions later. Absolutely, mate. You're, you're absolutely right. Perfect. Thank you. You, I, I mean, you've cleared up things on many, many instruments uh, for people here. I know that today we have like ha half our usual attendance because it's Easter, it's Catholic Easter, but I'm pretty sure that, you know, a lot of people will uh, watch, um, you know, the recording, you know, during the weekend on, or when they have some uh, uh, free time because you know the good thing with Elliott waves is that it always gives a perspective that's not only for a day or two days so you know that analysis is not going to be obsolete on monday perhaps not on tuesday or wednesday uh, so thank you very much for uh, being with us uh, you know once again after uh, you know uh, two weeks due to the time change and looking forward to having you next week as well sure my pleasure uh, uh wanted to ask do we have a webinar on monday as well or no because of holidays or uh that's a good question i'm not I, i'm I'm definitely going to be on uh vacation i i think we do but i'm, I'm going to check it and uh, let you know we, we're going to tweet about it uh, actually depends on depends on dale and it depends on blake um i'm, I'm going to be and, in, and <laughs> Um, pro probably, I'm, I'm guessing that uh, we might not actually. I'm, 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 we're going to tweet about it from the company account, you know, uh, later today. Actually, I'm, I'm going to discuss it with them. Sure. Okay. Okay, Gregor. Perfect. Thank you, my friend. So everybody, have a nice Easter and have a lovely extended weekend, and we'll see you all next week. Happy bye, Easter, bye, guys. Happy Easter to everybody. Bye, bye. Bye.